President Park Geun-hye has wrapped up her four-day trip to Mongolia. During the ASEM summit and bilateral talks with her Mongolian counterpart, the president achieved two pillars of her policy drive, upping the international pressure on North Korea and boosting free trade for the South Korean economy. Her Song Ji-sun starts us off. President Park Geun-hye's consistent message of denuclearizing North Korea was echoed through the ASEM summit and bilateral talks with Mongolia during her five-day stay. Leaders acknowledged the deeds condemning Pyongyang's nuclear and missile tests in the strongest terms in the Ulaanbaatar statement. They also showed support for Seoul's initiative for peace and cooperation in Northeast Asia. Our two countries have agreed to cooperate in denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula and ensuring peace and security in the region. We'll continue those efforts on the international stage and within the United Nations. President Park's message for expanding open trade against the rising trend of trade protectionism was also delivered to other ASEAN member nations. Seoul and Ulaanbaatar set the base for free trade through their bilateral summit, agreeing to initiate joint research for the Economic Partnership Agreement, a pact similar to FTA. It's a preemptive measure setting the ground for investment. We've built an expressway to realize the potential of economic cooperation and trade growth between the two countries. President Park attended a business forum before flying back to Seoul to help link Korean companies with local buyers in Mongolia, saying the two countries can further boost growth in a mutually beneficial way. President Park's visit set the groundwork to enter the Mongolian market a niche market for South Korea and a gateway linking Asia and Europe. Her drive to denuclearize Pyongyang will be helped with support from Mongolia, which also has long-time diplomatic relations with North Korea. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News, Olamatar.